All right, let's just do something we like to call social media check-in. Let's check in with what people are asking on social media. Charles M. on YouTube. I'm an asylum seeker and have been here for six years. My case is still pending. I've been employed for five years. I pay my taxes and have no criminal records. If the new immigration bill passes, what will, uh, what will I be eligible for? Lawful prospective immigrant status or a green card? Lawful prospective immigrant status. Sugar K on YouTube, who also sent us five dollars. Uh, I got married in July of 2020. Thank you. Well, well, I just want you to know, but she said five dollars. She deserves to get her question asked, right? And I better, yes. I better yes. give her a good answer for the five bucks, right? Right. Right. Make it good, Brad. Yes. And Cheers so. for a cup of coffee. Thank you very much. <laughs> So I got married in July of 2020. My husband is currently trying to adjust his status. I'm on Section 8. Should I add him to the housing? Uh, no, actually being on Section 8 would, is a double negative. It actually m makes your case for him perhaps have a problem with the poverty guidelines. Ogadel, Ogadel on YouTube, what is going to happen to non-felons currently in the deportation process if Biden's immigration bill passes? Um, most likely you would be uh, spared depending on what your uh, criminal records are because they're going to say you are going to be eligible to have two petty offenses which are mostly misdemeanors. So assuming you have two petty offenses um, then that would not make you a deportable alien. Tariq Khan on YouTube, if my asylum case is currently pending in court, am I eligible for Biden's amnesty? Yes, as it's currently written. Okay, O. Larkin, this is sent in as, uh, as an email in regards to Biden's new bill that may or not pass. Um, what does it say about people already placed in deportation, but with no felonies? Uh, every lawyer is talking about DACA and amnesty, but I haven't heard anything regarding what will happen to people who were placed in deportation under the Trump administration. You'd be, you'd be eligible for the amnesty. Denise Malcolm on Instagram. Instagram, if both my children are here in the U.S. on expired visas, can I file for them? Yes. Sam Adidier on YouTube, uh, is there any specific mention of waivers for false claims in Biden's proposed immigration bill? False claims to U.S. citizenship, there is no, no waivers for that and nothing new. Betty Lee Gordon on YouTube, Will the F2A category be included in the immediate relatives category under the Biden administration? As as it is written, yes, but we got to see if it passes. Ann Rose on Facebook, is it a problem if I filed the I-485 but I did not submit joint taxes with my husband? Uh, it's a problem if you were married during the time that you were not filing joint tax returns because file, if you're not filing a joint tax return, you're showing you don't have a joint economic relationship. You're not responsible for the debts of the marriage. And as a result, that would indicate to immigration that it's not a bona fide marriage. Atif Yusuf on YouTube, me and my family are being tortured and abused. Can I apply for a hum humanitarian parole? My sister is in the U.S. ready to sponsor me. I mean, you could always try, but um, I doubt you would have to apply for some sort of refugee process, refugee status. That's what I would be doing. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.